Okay, what else can we do to our sidebar? Well, how about working with a background color? How about we float this guy? Maybe we wanna mess around a little bit with margin. Now, I'm not showing you anything that you haven't seen already. I'm just showing you how to use these CSS properties that you've already been introduced to in a specific way, creating something like a sidebar or formatting an image, this kind of thing. So let's go and see what we can do here. I'm gonna flip back over to my code. How about a background color? I'm gonna look for my sidebar ID selector, drop in my cursor there, and let's throw on a background color. There we go, something like this. Number sign and then 3366FF, which is that same blue that I've been kind of using all the way along. There we go, something like that. And now I have kind of this mid blue with a dark blue border, which is kind of cool. How about we float them? Well, earlier I said that I wanted to float them over on the right hand side, right? So I'm going to go float, right, something like this. Refresh. And then once again, all of the content below this sidebar now wraps around the left hand side. But notice that the content is rubbing right up against the edge of my sidebar. How am I gonna fix that? Any ideas there? We've seen this a number of times. So padding is the spacing on the inside and margin is the spacing on the outside. Now I wanna specifically target the left edge of my object. So I'm gonna go with a margin left, margin dash left, something like this, full colon space. What value should I use? Let's try 20 pixels. Let's see how that looks. Save that, refresh. There we go, maybe something like that, right? Now, if I wanna take my sidebar here, which we are, of course, working on, and I wanna shove him in from the right-hand side, I wanna push him in closer towards the center of the page from the right-hand side, that's where I could use my margin right. So let me flip back over here, and I could go margin dash right, and then maybe I wind up using a value like, oh, I don't know, maybe 40 pixels, something like this. Save and refresh, there we go. Now we're pushing this object in on our page somewhat. And again, you can experiment with different properties, different values to see what looks good to you and what fits your overall design. Okay, there we go. So I hope that's working for you. That's taking this pretty much as far as I wanted to go. I simply wanted to apply the properties that we've already seen a number of times, the border, the padding, the margin, the floating, and I wanted to apply it to something tactile to give you an actual real world example. Now, I am thinking of some other formatting that we can start to monkey with. For instance, maybe I wanna format the content that appears inside a sidebar. And as a matter of fact, this gives me a perfect opportunity to show you something extremely cool in CSS. Let's go and check it out. 